Oh, bitch, we gotta go. Dark Stars School of Thought is now in session. Cutie motherfucker, but baby, he talk trash. What? Might show you ass, but baby, he got class. Okay. Trying to teach you something, them skills you don't have. Ooh. Keep on watching, let's get into the bag. Don't right. crap, son. Come on, crap, son. What's on, crap, son? You heard me right. Cause crap, uh-huh. it's just full of bad bitches. Hi, I'm Brockstar. And welcome to the workshop. I'm going to be bringing you fabulous new tutorials under my new brand of, I like to call, um, the School of Thought. T-H-O-T. For the ho and you. And me. I've had this workshop for a couple months now. If you don't know where it is, 605 South Los Angeles Street in downtown Los Angeles. Come on by. Lots of great things to see, to wear, to take photos in front of. Um, uh, in addition to that, I've been doing lovely little workshops here. So if you haven't been to uh, Mimosa and Men, Stitch Witch, there's another one coming up. So stay tuned. There will be details about a holiday workshop. Yeah. So, uh, so I have uh, this awesome space here that I've been making magic happen for my life. And I have so much stuff because everybody who knows me knows a bitch loves to shop. So I have curated what I like to call yard sale. You hear that? Fire trucks because it's on fire. Oh, 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 oh. Ow. And what does every great yard sale need? A good fucking sign. Because like, you want people to come and be like, ooh, what's that? Is that cute? Is it gonna be good? So I've always wanted to make a neon sign, but needed to make something fast because like, I just need to sign up to let people know what the fuck this rack's doing here amongst all of these like handmade things that I've made. What's all this like random ass clothes? So bam, yes. So this is um, a cutie little sign that I made. It says yarn sale on it and it will go on the wall. As you see, it has like lights in it and unicorns and stars and rainbows. I had those afterwards because I was like, it just needed something. So um, today I'm gonna teach you how to make this sign and it's gonna be super easy, super fast. Like I, once I made it, I was like, why? Why don't I have a thousand of these? So, um, I probably will have a lot of these signs around very soon. And you will too. Cause like, look how cute it is. It's all like 3D. Boingy, 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 boingy. And it's got the lights. Oh, you're gonna freak out. How When you find out how easy this is, girl, get your walls prepared. Here we go. Oh. The first thing that we're gonna need is you're gonna need a piece of foam cord. Um, most of this stuff you probably already have lying around your house. So this is just a piece of foam cord. It's not even a whole sheet. It's like, you know, like maybe like that much of it's chunked off. And I just like cut it for something else probably for that. Um, so you're just gonna need a face. Then you're gonna need stuff to decorate it with, which um, I have a, uh, I've been very blessed to invest in myself to get a vinyl cutter and um so i have cut vinyl cut all these like little um flowers and they have holes in them and that is where i'm going to put my christmas lights so you're gonna need um just something to put on your sign as well as letters which i've like cut all of mine uh custom which uh you know i'm always down to help the bitches so if you need something written in just like some uh, cardstock, I got you. You're gonna need some Christmas lights, um, uh, or these actually are Halloween lights, so they're purple, as you saw on my uh, my first sign. And they actually have like really short, um, like stubby uh, bulbs instead of like the pointy ones, but any Christmas lights would do. But I would get like a small one if you're doing a small sign and like long ones if you're gonna do a long sign 
Cause like, what are you gonna do with all the excess like lights? Unless you're gonna like pop a bunch of holes in it and just like go bananas, which girl do whatever you wanna do. Okay, so you're gonna have Christmas lights. You're gonna need um, a hot glue gun. As you can see, mine is hubbling out. Get like me girls. Um, you're gonna need some scissors. Uh, probably a Zacto knife, especially if you're going to be cutting your own letters. We're not going to go over that at this point, girl. No, we can't do that. I'm not going to cut letters for y'all. Y'all got that. Um, maybe another video. That's a whole nother video. You're going to need something to make holes with. One for inside the, um, phone core. So I have this like really cool, like pointy tool. Bah! And then, um, a hole puncher, like if you needed to hole punch these to like get the perfect size. And uh, you're going to need some tape. And then I'm huge about recycling, sort of. Like, I'm really working on recycling. Uh, also, recycle your textiles. Text always is huge and really important. Um, so this is like some like crappy, like weird packing styrofoam stuff. It's like bendy, it's plasticky, and it comes in every package. And I don't even think it's like recyclable. I don't think so. So why don't we make art with it? Ah, so this is actually what we use to back those letters. And I'll show you how all that works. And then I have some little grommets that I used these um, to put on the face of those lights. Some more tape. And then I have this like really cool foam double-sided tape sort of stuff. Uh, I like to go to the dollar store and go through the craft section and the hard hardware supply section because they always have like weird stuff like aluminum tape, like things you never thought you would need. But like once you buy them, you're like, oh, shit, like how have I lived my whole life? So like this is actually um, how I've been able to stick these mabobs on here. So to start our project, what you're going to need to do is kind of decide your layout of how you're going to make your sign. So I'm basically, on that one, I kind of just let the letters do its thing and then added everything afterwards, but I put in the, um, the lights first kind of as well because you kind of need to figure out where they're gonna go because the spacing is really important. So if you have something that's gonna go on the face of your, um, like where your light would go, you're going to need to measure the distance that they need to be apart and the distance between each light bulb, which, which for me was about like three inches apart. And so then I took that and I marked on my cardboard each dot of where I'm going to puncture the hole for where the lights are going to go in before I, um, because if you just do random, random stuff, like you're definitely, gonna screw yourself and then you're gonna be like have all these holes or not have holes where you need to have holes so just take into consideration where each of these things need to go and so i'm just gonna go ahead and pop some holes in here and keep it pushing um, i'm just gonna take this and safely puncture holes into where i put all of the holes that i want my lights in um, they're not perfectly spaced, but they're just about, and honestly, like once the flowers get on here, it's not even going to matter. Like no one's going to know. Voila. So now we have our holes in here and now... Now what we're going to do is we're going to lace in our lights and then add on top of the, on top of that. So here we go. So for the lights, we're going to come from behind. Oh, that sounded so dirty. So we're going to come from behind. We're going to start on one side and work our way from one side to the other side on the back gonna start with the first one and just like you're going to get it in there just enough and then when you get to the second hole stick that there you see yeah and it's just gonna work kind of that way and in between you'll uh what I did on my other one was I uh taped 
the cord kind of down to the board, but not all the way, just enough where it was out of the way, because otherwise it'll flip around and then you'll, uh, it'll be everywhere and your thing will never stay in there. Your light will never um, stay in its like little hole. And here you have it. Fully laced up, ready to go. Let's switch these bitches on. Let's see what we get. Check that out. Isn't that gonna be cool? All right, so now we have to get started with the um, the toppings of our little signboard. Ah! So we have our lights installed. Our holes are done. Our lights are installed on the back of this guy. Um, it's unplugged. We're gonna pop on our our uh, flowers onto the lights uh, just to knock that portion out. Um, I uh, made these out of marbled cardstock. I would recommend using cardstock on this versus uh, just like um, colored construction paper or something like that because you're going to want to be able to lie it down on its face from time to time to work on the back. And you wanna make sure that it's durable to do that. Um, on the last one, I actually did not have a, um, oh, my glue gun's not working. Girl. Girl. Oh, no. Let's see, someone's gonna get their ass whooped. Maybe it's just dead. Well. I brought a backup one because we weren't gonna play that game today. Start doing that. And then after that, we'll be inserting the grommets into the hole of the light with a little bit of glue. And that just like makes that hole look super finished, super clean, super cute. My back is super hurting right now. So uh, the rest of this is probably about to be done from the chair. Stay tuned. So while this is heating up, I guess I'm just gonna lay these out to figure out where I'm gonna put each one so that I don't have to fumble around with that later. Craft side. Come on, craft side. What's on craft side? You heard me right. Cause craft side, uh -huh. it's just full of bad bitch. Craft side. Come on, craft side. All right, our hot glue gun's all ready to go. And our flowers are in place. And I'm just gonna go ahead and just like dab up just like a tiny bit of glue because they don't need much. Just to get them down and place them around that hole. Craft side. Ha, ha. Come on, craft side. What's on craft side? You heard me right. Cause craft side, uh -huh. it's just full of bad bitch. Awesome. So now these are all glued down, ready to go. So now we're gonna take our grommets, which this is just like one of the like tiniest size grommets. As you can see, it will like, here's like a pen and here's the grommet. Ooh, I just like demonstrated like sex. We wanna see it again? Here we go. So here's the grommet. You see, she's got real tight, tight. And then our pen, oh, oh, tiny, tiny little grommet. So, and it just like, I just like found out that it perfectly fits this hole, which is probably the size of a punch, puncher size hole. That is also the same width of, or um, radius of the light bulb thing that I'm using. Um, so you just pop this into the foam core hole 
And that creates this like beautiful finished edge. So you don't have this like janky, cut up, nasty hole where you just like pop some lights through and everyone's like, oh, you just like made that? And you're like, well, yeah. You know? So, and you think these could just stay. You're gonna need just like the tiniest bit of glue. And I put this on hot because I, I put it on just like both sides of the grommet, just like a little on both sides. Oh God, that's a lot of glue. Ooh, okay. Um, and that's, that's probably still hot. And just pluck it right in. Uh-huh. And you might have to hold your light as well. Just so that you can make sure that they both, um, everything's happening at the same time, you know? It's a little push and pull, a little give and a little take, uh, a little heart and a little break. Ooh, and that looks so good now. So when they're finished, they look like fucking like little, like your lights look like they're framed in some sort of like fancy gem. Like craft side. Ha. Ha. Come on, craft side. What's on craft side? You heard me right. Cause craft uh -huh. it's just full of bad bitch. Craft side. Ha. Ha. Come on, craft side. What's on craft side? You heard me right. Cause craft it's just Get, make sure they're in there real nice and tight um because you don't want them falling out later and you'll be looking goofy girl goofy craft side. Ha, ha. come on craft side what's on craft side you heard me right because craft uh -huh. it's just full of bad bitch craft side. Ha, ha. come on craft side all right so now our grommets are placed um, inside our light holes and our flowers are glued down. That one's a little crooked. Oh, well, um, I'll fix it later or I won't. And it'll just stay the same, won't it? Huh? So now we have our fun part of putting in or putting on, I should say, our letters, our text. What is this thing going to say? So. What I did was I took this um, trash, uh, foam stuff that comes in, anything that gets mailed that's probably electronic, and I just like trimmed it to a tiny bite-sized piece because my letters are thinner than the letters on the original, which was like huge, so I could use a lot bigger chunks to mount my letters. So to do that, what I used was this double-sided foam um, tape stuff that probably came from a department store. You take a little bit of that and you're just gonna pop that onto your letter. And then it has like a second piece. So you tear away the backing of that to reveal the sticky. Then you'll place the um, your foam mount squish there and then you'll take another piece of sticky foam pop that on the back of that foam packing squish mound you've just made and then you have a 3d letter voila and so i'm just going to place that carefully and decisively on my board and I'll do that with all of the letters here. Craft side. Ha, ha. Come on, craft side. What's on craft side? You heard me right. Cause craft uh -huh. it's just full of it. So right now it says take a rainbow. What do you think it's gonna say at the end? Huh? Take a rainbow and it ain't put it in your pocket, girl. Ah! Okay. So um, as you may be able to see here, um, we have this like funky 3D pop-up-esque, well, it's like definitely a pop-up, um, text board here. And then when the lights are on, it's going to be super rad. Uh, but I brought this up so I could show you guys that if you wanted to play a little bit more with dimension, you can chop the things in half. They don't all have to be at the same height. That way you can have some bubbling out, some bubbling back. You know, things like that I give it a little more depth. Like on my eyes, I like to just go ahead and stick the eye, like the the period on top. 
I like to just throw it right on the board and then elevate the the letter and it just kind of, kind of like plays around with your eyeballs. Cause it's cute. Craft side. Come on, craft side. What's up, craft side? You heard me right. Cause craft uh -huh. it's just full of bad bitches. All right, here we go. Our finished product. As you can see, it says, take a rainbow selfie, hashtag IMBS workshop, where we currently are. And the rainbow wall right behind me. Oddly enough, people need a sign. Otherwise, they wouldn't know to just take a selfie and maybe tag me. All right, let's plug it up and let's like, See what it looks like. And voila, we have this awesome, cool sign. I'm pretty proud of it. I think it looks pretty cool. I mean, like, if you put this up in your room, well, if you didn't have a rainbow um, wall, it wouldn't make sense. But if you put something that pertain to you and put this up on your wall, people would be pretty impressed, I think. So um, definitely like, subscribe. Um, please tell me how you like this tutorial. What kind of other tutorials would you be interested in watching me do? And don't forget, crafting is not just for broke bitches. It's for bad bitches. Y'all have a good night. Yeah!